Your doctor has recommended that you have arthroscopic surgery in order to repair a torn meniscus in your knee. But what does that actually mean? The knee is one of the most important and one of the most complex joints in your body. It is made up of bone, ligament, and cartilage. Damage to any individual part can dramatically restrict the normal movement of the leg and can even interfere with the ability to walk. Let's take a look at the way the knee is put together. The femur, or thigh bone, meets the tibia to create a flexible joint called the knee. Helping to stabilize the knee are flexible bands of tissue called ligaments. Protecting the bony surfaces that rub together are pads of tissue called cartilage. Cartilage acts like a cushion. Without it, every time you bend at the knee, you would cause the major bones of the leg to grind together. The meniscus is cartilage that not only protects the bone, but also acts like the leg's shock absorber. Twisting or bending the knee during sports or even normal activity can damage the meniscus. Symptoms include swelling, restricted movement, pain, and even the inability to stand on the affected leg. When it comes to treating a torn meniscus, surgery is almost always the safest and most comfortable option. The only alternative to surgery involves wearing a brace for six to eight weeks in order to prevent the leg from bending at the knee. A small percentage of these kinds of injuries will respond to this kind of treatment. Surgical procedures performed by making an incision large enough to expose the entire operative area are called open procedures. Your doctor believes that your medical condition and overall state of health make you a good candidate for less intrusive arthroscopic surgery. An arthroscope is essentially a very small video camera that your doctor will use to guide the surgery. Using an arthroscope, the surgeon is able to operate by making one or more very small incisions through which the sterile arthroscope and possibly other instruments are inserted into the body. However, it is important to understand that during the procedure, your surgical team is always prepared to convert an arthroscopic procedure to an open procedure, should they feel that your condition requires a more direct approach. If the surgical team makes this decision, you will find upon waking up that your doctor has made a larger incision and that healing may proceed more slowly. Converting to an open procedure will affect the length of your recovery and will probably require hospitalization. Of course, no surgery is completely risk-free. But your physician believes that if you decide not to undergo the recommended procedure, you may be putting your health at risk. On the day of your operation, you will be asked to put on a surgical gown. You may receive a sedative by mouth and an intravenous line may be put in. You will then be transferred to the operating table. In the operating room, the surgeon will then apply antiseptic solution to the skin around the knee and then place a sterile drape around the operative site. The anesthesiologist will begin to numb the lower body by injecting a drug into the small of your back. Before your doctor can insert the arthroscope, the surgical team will inject a clear fluid into the joint. This fluid will inflate the interior space and will help your doctor by providing an unobstructed view. Once in place, the arthroscope will provide video images so the surgeon can insert the instruments through one or more small openings. After inspecting the extent of the damage to the meniscus, your doctor will repair the meniscus with tiny staples or remove it altogether. Finally, all the instruments are withdrawn and the clear fluid is allowed to drain from the knee. Following surgery, sterile dressings are applied. 
To aid in healing, your knee may be stabilized with a brace, and you will be encouraged to use crutches during the recovery process. Most patients experience at least some pain following surgery, but if properly handled, it shouldn't present any serious problems. Pain used to be regarded as an unavoidable side effect of surgery, but today, pain can be managed with great effectiveness. And as the patient, you have an important role to play. Before surgery, be sure to ask the medical staff about the type and duration of pain normally associated with your surgery. Find out in advance about your pain management options. Work with the staff to develop a pain management plan. Discuss your options. There are alternatives to drugs that can lessen your need for pain medication. Ask your doctor for help in finding a pain management class. Many of these workshops teach helpful relaxation techniques, positive thinking, and nerve stimulation exercises. Following surgery, make sure to let your nurse know right away how you're feeling and whether or not you are in any pain. Be specific and help them to measure your discomfort. If you're having trouble expressing yourself, Try to rank what you're feeling on a scale from 1 to 10. Never be shy about asking for help. If you experience pain that just won't go away, report it to the nurse. Pain is an important indicator that helps you and your medical staff understand your body's healing process. Arthroscopic knee surgery only rarely leads to complications. The first is a persistent residual neuralgia, or pain, around the incision sites. It can either be localized or general. It may develop soon after surgery, or even weeks or months later. Usually it will decrease with time. But in very rare situations, it can become permanent. Finally, as mentioned earlier, the surgical team may decide to end the arthroscopic procedure and convert to open surgery.